Welcome to North Iceland and a very interesting landscape here before us just alongside the road uh, between Husavik and Akureyri this interesting landscape presents itself just all these little mounds they almost look like oversized ant hills literally hundreds maybe thousands of these littered throughout this valley here in this region of North Iceland. What are these strange features? Well, let's find out together. Thanks for joining me. I'm geology professor Sean Wilsey. Uh, we're here exploring some of the interesting features in Iceland, which is just a fantastic place to look at the effects of volcanism, glaciers, rivers, tectonics, all converging together. And let's get right to it with these interesting little features here. Um, you can see there's just these steep sided little mounds, maybe, I don't know, up to maybe five to six meters high, just scattered across this landscape. Um, and the rocks here, that's the easy part of the equation. If we look at uh, the rocks here, they're dark colored. Let's find a good spot down here to look at these in detail. The rocks are dark colored. Um, they have some lichen and moss on them because they're a little bit older. I'll put the date in here if I can find that in the literature. But it's obviously all basalt, your typical volcanic rock and the most common volcanic rock here in Iceland. In places we can see that these are places where the lava has actually kind of flowed a little bit. We see some textural features, which indicates it was still molten. But what are these things? Is it possible that there's a thousand or more maybe hundreds if not a thousand tiny little vents all erupting in this same little area do volcanoes do that what is going on here well let's look at these things these are um, a unique feature in geology they're found in other places but they are somewhat unique although iceland has a fair share of them these are what are known as rootless cones so they're small little cones much like a spatter cone or a cinder cone. In fact, when you see these erupting, it would look a lot like a spatter cone eruption. But why are they called rootless? Notice that the tops of these have craters in them. Um, let's go look over here at this one and then I'll answer my question as well. Here's a nice conduit into this one, which is quite a bit taller than a lot of the others. You can see some of the snow and ice in there. So we're looking inside this rootless cone. If we look at the features along the ceiling, you can see the drip features here from the lava spatter as it was just dripping back down, forming some of these cool features along the ceiling of this cone. So what these are, are uh, features, I guess I'm trying to figure out what the best word to describe them. They're not really true volcanoes in the sense that they're not tied to and connected to a magma conduit or plumbing system that's coming from deep. These are literally rootless in the sense that they do not have a continual supply of magma that supplies them. How these form is when we have large volume lava flows that cover a landscape that has a lot of water. Could be a marsh or a swamp, uh, maybe a shallow lake. And rather than behaving explosively, like we've talked about where water and lava interact, here we're not talking about an appreciable amount of water, so not a, a deep lake, but maybe a shallow lake, maybe um, just a marshy, boggy, wet area like we often have here in Iceland in these low areas like this valley where all these rootless cones are. And as the lava interacts with that small amount of water, that creates pockets of steam. And so the steam creates these phreatic or explosive conditions where you get the lava exploding, the water and steam coalesce, the lava erupts and piles up and forms a cone that's maybe again like three, four, maybe five meters tall. Um, and then at that point, it's exhausted the supply of water and steam in that location. But in an adjacent area, there's another place where there's water and steam. And so you get another one. And then some number of meters away, 
there's another one. So there's no uh, pattern to how these things line up. They're not along a fissure. They're somewhat sporadically spaced out in the landscape. Uh, we can see them just all over the place here. Just fascinating and cool features, these rootless cones. And then at the tops of most of them again, you will see some sort of opening. This one's sort of blown out a little bit broader than the other one I showed you that had a nice crater at the summit. But if we come over here, looks like these two have nice um, craters there. So again, rootless cones or rootless vents, um, not connected to a discrete body of magma in the subsurface, merely a feature that forms when we get lava and water interacting, but the lava is covering a large landscape with some amount of water or moisture in it. And so you get this, these rootless cones just spread out. And I've seen a few of these before, but not nearly in this sort of crazy extensive way, just spreading out uh, as far as the eye can see. Nice little steep sided one over here. So fundamentally similar to a spatter cone, but not connected to uh, a magma body. Therefore, it's not a primary vent. Pretty awesome though, these features. Rootless cones, so you can add that to your lexicon. Um, this one looks like we can kind of go inside and check it out. It's Again, it's throwing up chunks of spatter and um, uh, scoria or lava. So you can see how just spiny and rough the pieces are that make this up. So it's just these sticky clots of lava that are thrown out again by the steam uh, and the phreatic conditions. And it all just lands around the big pocket of steam that forms the rootless cone. Uh, and it builds up a few meters or so. And then uh, at that point, it's used up all the, the water or steam and that's the end of that little rootless cone. So they do have a limit in terms of their height. I think some of the tallest ones here are maybe, I think this one over here is maybe pushing six meters or so, but not very tall, but cool little features right here along the road in North Iceland. Hope you like this video. Hope you like learning about this amazing landscape here in Iceland with me. Thank you for your support of the channel and supporting geology education videos. Appreciate it and take care. Adios.